Hello, my name is Jordan. I'm here with Aubrey Shepard today for probably a pretty quick short take because I just sat in on his, which made me question a couple of things that I wanted to ask him about or see if he was familiar with. I'd like to mention to you, <clears throat> are you familiar with uh, Emoto Photos of Water? No. Okay. The ice crystals made me think of Emoto's photos of water. There's, there's several books by him. You can certainly Google that. Mm -hmm. But Emoto took photos of quick freezing of, of, uh, of water crystals after uh, certain different emotions were expressed to the water. For instance, if you had a vial of water that you expressed the word love to, or you even wrote the word love on the bottle, and then flash froze it and looked at that crystal, the crystal would form into a very beautiful, uh, I forget, hex, five or six, six-sided six -sided crystal. Really? Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, if you had the word love written on the bottle or just gave love energy towards a, towards a vial of water sitting on a table, the crystal would be very yucky looking. I'll try and have some of those photos in a future Put some time. on a disc and, and uh, I'll try and do that. If you're just using them for educational purposes, uh, the the creator probably wouldn't mind the, right. a few of them being shared. Right. And uh, we Might can look at those. Yeah. But very, it's very, very amazing the effect that that uh, that our emotions have on water. And if you expand on that to realize that we are seventy to ninety percent water, our brains are ninety percent water. That when we are having positive emotions, that water in our brains are are very uh, well. If you could crystallize some water that was in your brain when that emotion is being felt, would would form into a very beautiful crystal. If you were being having negative thoughts, you're you're affecting all the water in your body with your thoughts. And that's incredibly powerful to, to, to realize. It's also scary to realize. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing things people discover and, and uh, photograph, so I'd, I'd love to see some of those. I've got a book with some of those photos in it, and I'll either figure out a way to, to show them somehow. Just uh, scan them or take a picture with a digital camera yeah. or something and, yeah. and share the contrasting uh, right. emotional <laughs> reactions. Well, this, this is this is great, Bob. This is a uh, uh, part of the uh, those those pictures are part of the video that I mentioned on this before called Water the Great Mystery. You mm -hmm. can look at that on YouTube. There are a lot of Emoto's photos in that video, and uh, uh, it's very very beautiful and very powerful to watch. I think that that's one of the one of the first things I recommend to people is that they look at the video, Water the Great Mystery, on YouTube. Water the Great Mystery. But there's a whole lot more in, to, in it than Emoto's photos, but that's a large part of the video. Well, this diversity in nature that I was mentioning is so important to us, but the diversity in the, in the elements that uh, we're associated with and that we're made of, and the importance of those is what you're talking about, and, and there's more life, there's life in more things than we recognize. What, what brought that to mind was your pictures of the, of the ice crystals, and I was wondering what that would look like under a microscope coming out of the ground. Well, maybe you could come talk to some of these, and I'll photograph them again, and display <laughs> different emotions in each case. I think it has to be done with a microscope to look at the crystal. To get okay, the crystal. That, I don't have but a camera that good. I've, I've heard that uh, there is such a device as a way to quick flash freeze at the university. I would love to connect with that. Hey, if you go out and uh, pour a little water on the concrete or metal or even wood outside on some of these nights, it'll flash freeze right there. Yeah. So. Right. Still need the microscope to look at. To look at it, yeah. But very, very beautiful pictures, very mind-stretching pictures of that Emoto has made. Well, thank you, Bob, for thank you. having me with you on this. Well, thank you. That was very, very much fun. I appreciate you, Aubrey. That's great.